Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today it was really, really cold today, and I had a swoosh in my weight loss on my cut. I didn't want to go train in the cold, but I thought, you know, I just hit a swoosh on my weight loss. The last thing I want to do is be dropping weight quickly and start skipping lifts on my big three. So I went in and just did a quick session out in the cold. I was really cold. I didn't want to do this. You can see I'm pretty well layered up. But I was down to 98 kilos today, which wouldn't be a big deal if I was on low carbs, but I'm on 600 grams of carbs every single day. And I normally cut eight kilos of water weight by cutting carbs out and water loading and then cutting my water back a little bit. I've been able to successfully drop eight kilos before meats doing this, which means I am on target for weigh-ins if I want to do a water cut. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think after talking with some really good coaches and sports nutritionists, I may not do the big water cuts I've been doing. I might try to just stay two to three kilos over my meat weight at this point so that I can just cut carbs for a few days and make weight from now on, which means if I lose another five or six kilos of uh, blubber, then I will be good to go. So these lifts were sloppy today because I was really <laughs> in a hurry. I just hit a quick 580 kilo total which I know that isn't impressive by any means. It's not even good for me, to be honest. And everything felt a little sloppy, but the thing is I wanted to come in and hit some heavy lifts after hitting a swoosh on the scale before I did some cardio just to stimulate a little bit of growth to maintain strength and size. So this was nothing impressive. It was just a quick session with just my big three, no real accessory work, which isn't that big of a deal, guys. The thing is when you're cutting, all you're looking to do is maintain your strength and muscle mass the best you can. People come in and think that they should come in and try to train a lot more volume or make better adaptations when you're, you're cutting at a decent rate. And in the real world, that's just not realistic unless you're blasting a ton of gear, which I'm not doing. So again, the way to do something like this is just come in get it done and get out, which is what I did. And like I said, I only went with a 580 total. You guys can figure out pretty easily from my other videos roughly how much weight's on each thing. I think I ended up with, I just did a 200 kilo pause squat, a 140 bench. I don't know, like a 240 deadlift, 220 actually. I might have only gone 560. I'm not even sure. Again, it was just a quick session. I was in and out of there in 15 minutes. Just hit my big three, and I figure if it's a little warmer tomorrow, I'll do some extra accessory work. I'm not even worried about it. The way the scale is going down since I'm maintaining strength pretty decently, I almost don't care what my lifts look like right now. Because like I said in my last video, I'm going to have a little period of time. I may not get to compete at all the first half of this year with some other things going on in my life. So I'm not that worried. I'm just worried about getting lean enough and maintaining strength so that I can progress from there when I am able to jump back in and get some meats in again and try to kick some butt. And this helps me do that. And to me, just coming out and even training like this in the cold and doing some deadlifts with that frozen bar, I feel like for me, just improving my mental toughness a bit. And that's something I really need when I'm, I'm cutting because cutting is difficult for me. That's why I'm always uh, fluffy. It's because I'm not good at cutting. I suck at cutting. And I need extra things just to feel mentally tougher sometimes to, to help me get through a cut and make it through. And I'm committed to making this cut this time, which I'm well on track. Everything's on schedule. And again, I was just happy to hit 98 kilos while still eating really high carbs this morning. That's a good sign of things to come. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick training clip. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.